So Goliath naming, apparently they have like their personal name and then their like nickname and then their last name. Yeah. And so since this dude, there's no way he would know his last name. I just named him, you know, I put Toad. Yeah. He was raised by Toad. Did you guys roll for your trinkets? No, I didn't. I did. I got a Not dead yet. sprite in a clear glass bottle. <laughs> oh shit, that's creepy, man. Yeah. You're totally yeah. I, I definitely don't see why Samson would carry that, but I'll I'll make up. I'll I'll get I'll get there. You know, you inspired me to go boy toy on this one, by the way, uh Nathan. So I'm gonna oh, I'm excellent. gonna go I'm gonna go very like oh, actually no, I kinda hate this picture now, not doing it. No. Yeah. <laughs> Because like when I was first creating Samson, um, the I always I always come up with a character idea before I come up with a class, and then and this char- and this class just fitted so perfectly the flamboyant yeah. whatever um, that I was like, man, cannot can't not use this one. Nice, I'll do this. So originally I was gonna play a Goliath Ranger, and I was gonna that... say that he was. Follow me on this. I know. I'm following not, you, but but that would be not, suboptimal. Uh, yeah, as as uh, any. Yeah, statistically, not an awesome idea. But flavor wise, he was you know allegedly able to shoot like you know mountain goats or like tar like from mountain peak to mountain peak, and he had like a seven foot bow, which I thought that would have been cool. Yeah, too bad there cool. is no great bow in this edition yet. Um. They need they need like a bow with a minimum strength requirement. Oh yeah, that uh, could be cool. Yeah, because um, it's very much skewed dex because of that. But yeah, I mean, I'm a medium armor dude. I'm starting walking around. I focus celerity, and that gives me faster an advantage on initiative rolls, as the mode I'm in. Cool. But during mid combat, iron durability, I've got 20 AC. So what about with uh, because you're talking at one point about adding some monk stuff in, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was I was originally going monk, but the immortal disciplines makes no sense for a monk to do because it's all melee weapon stuff and monks do the punchy shit. Yeah. Um, and it's and the immortal discipline. You know, it gives you martial weapons and heavier armor. Um, and so I was like, man, now if I would have went order to the awakened, that would have made a little more sense. But because of all of our wizardy types, I was like, nah, man. Yeah. Uh, Order of the Immortal. So, so I figured out who my de- demonic father was. Excellent. The Orc oh, yeah. Lord Slark. Slark. Oh God. Oh Jesus. That's I am so business. on board. It's painful. Oh yeah, we got a Slark needs to be in every game I run from now on. It was just Lex mm-hmm. took to that weird sex yeah. stuff like a fish to water. <laughs> <laughs> That was great. He was just going for maximum corruption in that game, too. It's like strangling people to death out of nowhere. And... Put that on his shirt and I'd wear it. Lex went to the weird sex stuff like a fish in the water. <laughs> Amazing. Here at Starwalker Studios, we encourage um, sexual experimentation. <laughs> yeah. With consenting partners. Yeah, of course. Unlike, unlike Slargists. Meh. Yeah. <laughs> Officially, <laughs> we on. hope you consent. If anybody's taking this seriously enough to actually look at it to, for advice, <laughs> then you have you are the person well, that they won't be around anymore. <laughs> you are the person that Chick taken... Publications written about. <laughs> they uh, they would have taken your advice last week and killed themselves to wait. <laughs> <laughs> They won't be this week. Please it send us so email bad. here at Starwalker Studios if you killed yourself in the most hardcore way possible. Yeah. Also, I'm I'm pretty sure no one can hear us right now. So All right, fine. be quiet. Let's just back. No, everybody can hear you. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I just own anything that uh, Dwayne has ever said on any. <laughs> Who used wise. Dwayne? I don't. That's probably wise. I've yeah. never. Oh, I see a new token, uh, sir. Have actually, you Alex, ever, can, you um... make, can you make a disclaimer that shows the beginning of each one of these? <laughs> no, <is> that... <laughs> if you if you take anything that we say seriously, seek mental help. Um, All right. 
you for seek entertainment professional purposes help only. Because so no uh, cash value. <laughs> do not try this at home. Welcome to Jackass. <laughs> yep. So I determined my 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 demon father, Lex. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's going to be the uh, orc lord Slarg. <laughs> Slarg will never die. <laughs> so, so Slarg at some point became a demon. <laughs> oh yeah, he travels the multiverse. That's awesome. Shit. <laughs> so wait, um, are we on Twitch? Or we're on no, YouTube. we're on YouTube. Live? Or... Yeah. yeah, baby. Is there a chat room? Yes. Yep. Do they like me? Yeah. Um, do you guys like Wayne? Your tops. What's that? Arizona Steve loves you, Dwayne. Yeah, Malagar wanted to know if your character is is you as a as he at age eleven. Yes, <laughs> all my characters are me in various facets. Foot fetish confirmed. <laughs> That's right. um, so Dwayne was we was Slarg that. a demon or a devil? I'll leave that up to you. Okay. I'll say demon. I like demons. Chaotic evil, demonic. baby. Slog's no. your daddy. <laughs> Slog is your daddy. <laughs> so puberty ought to be a real treat with this kid. Maybe we'll role play puberty. <laughs> I will get my boy band. I will get it. Oh, man. You got to you gotta snip him now. Otherwise, you lose that uh, range. Yeah. The, that angelic tone. Yeah. Castrato voice. Yeah. Castrato. Yep. Oh, God. Give me an estimate on your age. Eleven. <laughs> Let's see. See now my to... character's age okay. matches my maturity level in real life. <laughs> Can we uh so are we Soldiers. sitting at the guild hall enjoying drinks? Uh no, you, you are sitting at the fucking pint enjoying drinks. Yeah, okay. Is there a special like... tonight for anyone under four feet tall? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are there laws on drinking age? Because you may not even be able to drink. Oh yeah. no, no, no! They'll sell alcohol to anybody that'll pay. Man, if this was Uthram's <laughs> bar, he'd be rolling in his grave right now. <laughs> but it's yeah, not. It's Uriel. Uriel's, Uriel's a buddy of mine in this. We know. I I met him when he first moved here, and I was but a little guy. <laughs> but a littler guy. I took his hand in my six fingered hand and said, "Come with me, Uriel." <laughs> So, so Dwayne, are you going to do a voice? Your your voice is kind of deep for an eleven year old. Hey, it's a t it's t I'm not going to do a voice for the whole thing. I'm not a puppet. I'm a real boy. Can, can you do the crack? <laughs> it's unsettling for a little kid to have a voice like this. So we're going to say he talks like this. He's an eleven year old that talks like James Earl Jones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would like a lollipop. <laughs> Please, Mama. Where is my mother? <laughs> I request my binky. Are you my daddy? <laughs> uh, well, I could be, son. Let me teach you the ways of Slargus. Um, but that is a tale for another day. No, Yorick totally takes a, takes a shine to Samson. It's like every time you turn around, little Yorick's grabbing onto your hand. Awesome. Like, oh, Thank. Oh, and Samson's naive towards like um, smooth talkers. <laughs> This is one of his character flaws. So. Oh yeah, you guys are gonna be good friends. Oh yeah. Well, you know what? I tell you what. Since we've been we've been dicking around with this for two hours now, and Chrissy isn't here, so so do you want to wait till next week to do the whole what your first adventure was and just get into things? It, it might make <laughs> sense um, because Wraith may or may not be here, and I'll know next week. Whereas, okay. if I start now, then all of a sudden he's just gonna disappear. Oh, I'd rather play. Let's play. We still got some time, don't we? Yeah. Could we? Yeah. Could we, could yeah, we play. Play? Right. The idea was that we wouldn't we wouldn't cover our background, our communal yeah, just... background is what we're debating. Yeah. Oh. Math. Okay. Math debating our communal. Background. I mean, you're not like attached to this character, right, Steve? So if I just have him killed horrifically while you're gone, that's that's okay. I right? mean, I can come up with something else. Don't, <laughs> don't worry about it. I'm honest. I mean, honestly, I don't like creating characters. It's fine. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, no, we'll. I mean, if you end up not able to play, we'll we'll figure something out. But I just feel like the vibe here is people want to get going. Um, yeah, okay, I do shit. 
Okay. Let's ro let's roll some dice. I don't have Seven. all my spells, so I just don't cast much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nineteen, baby. Yeah, okay. Does Nineteen work for you? <laughs> yeah, all that's right. my defense. Okay, yes. so, and so I ten damage from an you, you guys are hanging out in this uh, bar slash inn called the Fucking Pint. It's in the trade district of the city, so you're in the the outer part of the city, not like the ancient elven part. Uh, that part tends to be more like the really rich people and like uh, government buildings and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm um, not allowed to out. <laughs> Uh, the trade district, this is, uh, you know, it, you're not like in the slums, but, you know, it, it's more of a kind of a blue collar kind of neighborhood. And um, this, this city is very cosmopolitan in that, like, all of the major races are here. And even like a tiefling walking down the streets, I mean, it's not like people see a tiefling every day, but they're not like running for the hills or anything either there. I mean, you're definitely an oddity, but, but like, that's it, you know, it's like, you know, I don't know. It's like if you're in Chicago and someone goes flashing down the street, it's like people might notice and take a couple pictures, but it, it's not really a big deal. <laughs> Only the tourists. Everybody's else like, yeah, damn kids get out of my city. <laughs> So, so you, you guys have worked together before. You've done at least one adventure together where you left the city and did something awesome um, that we'll figure out next week what exactly you did. Um, so you're not completely green, but you also haven't done something uh, worthy enough to get you into the guild yet. And that's probably kind of an aspiration for all of you so that you can uh, start making the big bucks. And uh, yeah, one of one of the reasons that you hang out here is the the bartender here, who <laughs> I guess I have to create. I have no idea about this guy. It's He's Uriel, some man. dude. <laughs> Ancient Uriel. Uriel is long dead. U Uriel's great great grandson. <laughs> who, and Mastic, uh, weirdly, Mastic is still alive and <laughs> works there. He's a yeah? scullery maid. Yeah, he's a scullery maid. <laughs> he shines <laughs> shoes. Ignominious end. Yeah, but just terrible. Just terrible <laughs> fall. Yeah. He just is only only smart enough to scrub floors. Otherwise, he's a worthless imbecile. He actually tried to get uh, Clan Geddon to make his lunch one time and <laughs> yeah. all his powers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So. So, um, yeah, you guys like part of the challenge is like getting a, a good job because uh, the guild tends to get like all the cool stuff. And um, you guys have probably at this point already gone off in search of a couple things and they turned out to be nothing, which is is really frustrating. So one of the reasons that you hang out here is uh, this is a place that um people will come to that for whatever reason they they can't go to the guild or um the guild just won't take them seriously or whatever uh so so people will come here because the the bartender here is is known to kind of keep like a notice board in his head of people that need things done and stuff like that so you guys have been hanging out here mainly in the hopes that that something will come your way and uh there's another adventuring company that uh has been basically doing the same thing and you guys kind of go back and forth between being friendly with these guys and uh kind of being rivals with them because they're, they're those guys <laughs> they're, they're basically like competing <laughs> with you right and and so you guys are sitting at a at a t table in the common room and the kind of the leader of this other adventuring company, uh, his name is Bo. And he's uh, basically like a paladin type of person. And he's this big, burly uh, human dude. He's got like long, flowing blonde hair. He's like very Fabian or Fabian looking, you know. So he looks kind of like Samson. Yeah, he, he looks like he should be on the cover of a romance novel. You know, with his shirt off and, you like know, a, a woman with her, her strapless dress, like 
slung over his arm unconscious or something. Just because she's just overcome with his, a his terrible awesomeness. Turn right there at the end. <laughs> yeah. Just a gentle oh, trickle of blood beautiful. rolling down. Yeah. Her <laughs> He's no, I was, th- I was thinking more yeah. like she'd swoon, not he'd knocked oh. her out. <laughs> her nose is like busted. Yeah. Her mascara That's is awful. very runny. That's <laughs> awful. I love it. <laughs> All right. But anyway, he's actually at your table drinking with you guys. Um, for some reason, he seems to prefer hanging out with you guys to hanging out with the people in his own group. Since he is beautiful. And, and yeah, so you guys have eaten, you've had your supper, and you're just kind of having drinks now. And, uh, and Bo's hanging out with you. Hello. Hello, and, Bo. And, and you guys are probably kind of at the point where you just kind of wish he would leave. Like, is he's the kind of guy who will join your table and talk about how his life is shit. Like, we're trying to have a conversation. Yeah. Yeah. And he's like, you know what, about that... This thing that I have done is totally worse. <laughs> right. And then at some point we're all like, well, we got to go. And we move to another table. And then he's like, oh, there you are. And then he comes and says, no, I wondered where you guys went. Great. So, so so is Mastig really there, Dwayne? Or are you just joking? Yeah. No, yeah. Mast- Mastig's there. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, well, just let's say Mastig course. is the one that like collects bounties or information oh. on bounties. Okay, cool. I think yeah. that makes sense. And the and the bounties information are left on the soles of shoes. <laughs> Very clever. Yeah. Cleverly hidden into the like um, so we've got a delightful men's size twelve and a half wide for you today. Yes. <laughs> like bottles of wine. Like he does it over his you know, yeah. crook. Anyways. So what is what is Bo's disposition today? What is he what is he raving on about? Um, well, he's he's about half drunk, and he he just got done regaling you with a tale of him and his his group. Uh, they were fighting a uh, a bunch of skeletons. Um, they they were out in the world, and they came upon a village. Which villages are kind of rare. And at least you people that live in the cities, you kind of look at people that live in villages like they're either crazy or stupid or something because they don't have a lot of protection and they tend to get wiped out (laughs) eventually. And uh, so they'd come upon this village and there were like skeletons everywhere. They uh, their their graveyard was like really close to the village and something had happened and all the dead were like clawing out of their graves and killing people. And um, he, he basically told a very long story that boiled down to his, his party's bumbling <laughs> attempts to like kill these skeletons. And, and, and you've now learned that edge weapons and whatnot don't work terribly well on skeletons. Cause he, he was very sure to, to point that out to you because they, they had all the wrong weapons to, to fight skeletons. Unfortunately, truly. And he says, and that's why I really wish you guys had an opening because I would jump ship to run with you guys anytime. These guys are idiots. You know, Samson does a quick look down the table. Who of us does not have a piercing or slashing weapon? I assume me. maybe Kyle. It's all yeah. bleeding stuff. Great Excellent. And... Mm-hmm. More hammer. Hold the heathen hammer high. <laughs> I don't have proficiency in that. Oh, well, shit. Um, I wish I did. So, Samson, he, like, as this guy's kind of railing on, he's he tries to be as, like, kind of accepting to the idea, like, uh, receptive to the idea of him joining us, but he kind of pushes it in a way that he never really says that it would be a good idea or that we'd want him, trying to be as diplomatic as possible. <laughs> okay. Yeah, does this so, guy seem competent, like, or is he just the dud? You really can't tell. Like, sometimes you think that that he may he may be all right, and then sometimes you think he's just a total boob, and you just can't really <laughs> make up your mind which is true. 
boom. <laughs> I mean, Ray thinks that about his all of his current companions. So that's, that's about right. Wow, rude. <laughs> He's only been with you guys for a short while, and it's been a mixed bag. <laughs> Samson says, likes everyone. He says, well, I, I should let you, you get back to it. Um, I, I got to make sure those... Those idiots actually go to bed tonight, or we're never going to get anything done tomorrow. Well, have a good night. And he kind of he staggers off. Um, he's a little bit more drunk than you guys are. You good. Guys want me to kill him while he sleeps? Don't you dare! <laughs> okay. Is the question whether or not I want you to, or or whether or not you should? Would that make you happy? I would just want to make you happy. <laughs> It's a bad so, idea, York. <laughs> so him and his compatriots, child. you know, they, they go upstairs to where the rooms are. And uh, once they're out of sight, uh, the dwarf Mastig comes over to you guys. And uh, I I don't really want to role play Dwayne's character, so I'll just paraphrase. All right. <laughs> uh, after he makes sure that, that you guys all are, are set, you know, as far as good shoes, because um, footwear is very important. Um Key. Uh, which, I mean, you guys have been here for a while, so I'm sure he took care of you a long time ago. But um, he, he tells you that uh, he he has word through the grapevine of uh, something you, you might find interesting. Uh, there's been uh, some, some tales of uh, some kind of disturbance outside the city. Uh, there's what's believed to be uh, like an ancient tomb, not too far from the city, that uh, people have been saying they've been seeing like weird uh, lights and hearing sounds like moaning and screaming and stuff like that. And uh, he tells you that he, he's pretty sure that the guild is going to be sending someone out to like investigate to see if this is a real thing or not. Um, so, you know, this is your chance to, to kind of get the scoop on them, but he can't, you know, he can't promise you that it's for real. It could be total bullshit, but it's something. So what's it, like, what do we think about this guy? Because he doesn't seem like much. Who, Mastig? Yeah. Like, what's our impression of him? Well, he's yeah, kind what's, of what's uh, happened to Mastig over the years. What's he like now? <laughs> yeah. Well, why, why don't you tell us, Dwayne? <laughs> um, Th this could be he, as far in the future for Mastig as, as you want. Like it could be okay. hundreds of years if you want, or it okay. could be ten years. It's okay. up to you. So he's now more wrinkles than face, almost. <laughs> like he like almost looks like he's almost melting. He's so old and disheveled. His hair is yeah. all gray. Well, it kind of was always gray, but now it's almost gray and kind of coarse. Um. Uh, he's always totally nude, all the time, and. <laughs> He's really kind of a cousin it type character in this place. He has to constantly pull his hair back from his face to talk to you. Um, otherwise, just the same old mastic you knew. He's you know all beard. Yeah, he's I, all beard. I'm, like not quite Kate, sure. I'm not quite sure this is the guy that I want to get advice from. <laughs> Yorick loves Unky Mastic. Yeah. Samson's like, my dear Dwarven uh, debutante, um, We've been burned before, and quite recently. <laughs> what makes this so much more of a potential well-going than a group of maybe slargists who, you know, are just up to their own regular business and don't need to be bothered? Screaming and moaning. Slargists, indeed. Or honeymooners, who knows? <laughs> Steve, how was your hunt show? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we went there. <laughs> um, well, yeah, I mean, so, my wife's pregnant, so I mean, yeah. So, uh, Samson, you know, like to Mastig, which is kind of weird that I'm addressing an NPC, Mastig. Um, like, you know, this is this is good information. You know, from from whomever you got it from. Yeah, that's not me. Is that me, Lex? I yeah, you can just make up it. whatever. That's all I'm okay, doing. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, it's a hundred percent rock solid, like the soul of a good shoe. It's 
<laughs> it's 100% rock solid. And then you, it breaks into a fit of coughing, and you see kind of gravel comes out. <laughs> oh, yeah, because the Dwarven Gizzard. Yeah, exactly. Some rocks kind of skitter across the floor. So, like, the angle of, like, this party, if we were sitting at, like, a bench, must be intense, because it goes from, like, Goliath <laughs> to, like, 10 year old. Um, so it must be, you know. Yeah. You, you have to be very careful how you guys sit on the bench so it doesn't yeah. like flip over. <laughs> yeah. It's like It'd a be very tire. hard to, to, to angle that shot, to frame it. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I mean, Samson, if, if there are what people believe to be potential bad goings on, is always willing to at least investigate, if, if nothing else. It does raise the question of how we're going to paid for this i think it's I mean, salvage rights isn't it lucky mastic I mean, if, oh yeah yeah definitely if, if if it's a really cool thing you know it could be our end into the guild guys like that's what we want right yeah yeah well he tells you that there is a farmer whose property is like the the closest property to this area it's in an area of forest and he says, um, you know, that that guy is convinced that it's for real. And uh, he's seen stuff um, on the other side of the wall and he's scared and he <laughs> scraped together like 10 gold pieces for a reward. Uh, Damn. He says, <laughs> That's a lot of money, isn't it? For a farmer. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, a lot I'm of money like, for, for, for you guys. It's probably like, really? 10 gold? Wow. <laughs> um, but, you know, he says, you know, once once the guild comes becomes involved and, and they get um, and they confirm that this is for real, you know, of course, they'll they'll pay more. But, you know, you guys aren't uh, authorized to take those those jobs yet. So have the requisite stamps. <laughs> yeah, we got to we got to get Yeah, gotta you guys are kind of in the pro bono part of your career right now. <laughs> <laughs> It gets together enough money to uh, buy my new schools at this point, uh, that real early this, stage. But but you this guys are kind of like kind of playing it safe or, or being a little smart about it because you know that you kind of have two options. You can sit in the city and and wait for rumors like this, or you can go out in the wilds and look for stuff. And and that's like you guys have been kind of putting that off because that's really dangerous. And a lot of times, especially greenhorns like you, like they never come back from that kind of thing. My horns are red. <laughs> uh so did mastic also tell uh the other guy and his his friends about this or is it just us that knows about this no no in fact he waited until they went upstairs because he doesn't want okay. them to know because Fuck he it up yeah he thinks they'll bungle it yeah yunky mastic Thank you. also <laughs> i've decided whenever yorick uh is um particularly rambunctious samson like grabs him by the horn gaiety um and then like rattles his head a little uh, like, when he scolds adorable. you for some reason he's just like uh anyway stop that uh yes when yorick gets excited his tail wags looks like a dog <laughs> fantastic Awesome. This is an anime? What the hell? <laughs> I mean, look at my portrait. We're uh, we're great. Um, I don't think so, but yeah, Samson wants to go at least. He's tired of sitting around here. He's, yeah, he's yeah. a trained dancer. He doesn't. Yeah. He's not supposed to sit. He needs to yeah. go out travel. Let's go. Yeah, Wraith. Wraith is he. He's down with this shit. Let Let's Let's get this going. Feeds yeah. York a York snack. Um, <laughs> <laughs> terrifying Wraith, Wraith always maintains like it's like kind of subtle because it's not like he walks away from York but th there's always this bit of separation that he keeps from like whenever we sit <laughs> somehow he's never sitting next to York and it's really really subtle but like if you really notice that would be the thing like he's like always keeps a bit of like uh... Samson like pets him it's great anyways let us continue yeah, so yeah, yeah let's do this thing. I, I apologize for the uh, <laughs> the weak hook. I, I spent time on other things. <laughs> no, it's perfectly oh. good. Are we ready? Let's say some totally inappropriate things. Go. Yeah. So uh, this is this is far enough out that you're gonna want to wait till the morning to go. Um, yeah. Probably take you. See, I haven't figured out like how large the area outside the city is 
Um, but I imagine it's got to be pretty huge uh, to feed all these people. So it'll probably take you most of the day just to get there, I think. Unless you get horses. But I don't think yeah, you guys man. have horses. Horses are like expendable and I don't even have money, I don't think. And... <laughs> yeah. They're one shot items in this game. Yeah. And all our role playing zero games zero. they're all one shot items. All right. So uh yeah. we'll forward fast to the next morning and and you guys can uh York is go. up way early, way earlier than this you want to be up and he's jumping up and down on the bed. <laughs> Samson, you know, he gets up. Wraith does not share a room with him. <laughs> Stretches. Please, that's a wallet right up in Sprout's ear and just call Sprout. I sweep on the floor. No bed can fit me. <laughs> Sprout, are you awake? Sprout, are you awake? Sprout. I, I nudge him backwards. See, hey, Sprout. Wraith either hangs out with, has to deal with Yorick, or he has to deal with Samson's morning yeah. dance. Um, morning dance, for sure. We can dance together, man. Morning Sweet. Dance. Morning, we do some like, yeah, we do some like Latin speed dancing, <laughs> the electric slide, you know, the Macarena. <laughs> yeah, man, totally. <laughs> oh my gosh, everybody's wondering what that noise is. It's just two dudes dancing together in the morning. It's fine. What's wrong with that? I don't judge. I, I, I mean, Samson's been doing it for years. And a big group group of dudes and not dudes. One of these days, Yorick will do those things. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> um, you're too young, boy. Um, yeah, so let let's set out. Well, he's half hey. demon. Maybe he's not too young. Yeah. Six uh, finger hand. Let's let us set out. So I'm curious, Dwayne. What does your character do when a woman asks him where his mother is? Because I'm sure that happens a lot. <laughs> Up your fucking ass. Anyway. Yeah. He does. He says something unbelievably vile and vicious mockery, as we called the spell. Are you so like, I don't know, spell. but I'll be your daddy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll be your daddy. Yeah, exactly. Or he's, he's like, I don't know, must be with your mom banging my dad. <clears throat> my dad? Who's a fucking demon? <laughs> He's a fucking demon. My dad could be literally a fucking demon. He's a fucking demon orc. Yeah. <laughs> Where's your man. mom? Yeah, it's a, it's some kind of your mom joke. I'm sure. <laughs> you you started the your mom joke tradition on Primordia. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, so yeah, you guys back on, uh, back on track. Are are you guys ready? Does anybody need to? Do anything before you leave town. Okay, one last spellcasting thing. I'm so right. sorry. I gotta think of a voice for this character. I'm thinking about like, I feel like are, are we going more humorous on this campaign? Or are we going more serious? I don't care. I'm I'm fine with humor. I'd say mostly humorous, but I wouldn't <laughs> mind some dark moments. Yeah. You know, D and D after yeah. dark. Brown chicken, brown cow. <laughs> wow. So, okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, can someone tell me real quick no. how many spell slots I have? Okay, never mind. I guess we're never getting started. I'll uh, I'll let you uh, know. I'll find out here. It'll be. It's right in the book. Near level two. I'm guessing three. I'm guessing two. Is that how many I have? You have three first, and you know three cantrips. Oh yeah, check that out. The nice thing is you don't have to make a list because you know all of them on the cleric list, yeah. plus the nature spells. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Which are animal friendship and speak with animals. <laughs> yeah, and then how many like other random ones can I prepare? You don't have to prepare them. You you oh yeah you're right you do have to prepare them. It's your wisdom bonus plus your level. So three. No, pl plus your level. So probably five. Oh, yeah. And you never have to prepare animal friendship or speak with animals. Four. Those are always prepared. I know my cleric, dude. Yeah, he does. I know the class. That's a that's a great class. That's super fun. So if uh, if Chrissy's going to jump in, should we get her up to speed? Yeah, why yeah. not? Okay. Sure. 
We can do a, a speed run through of events to date. There's some good pizza. Will you stop with the pizza? Are, are you trying to kill Lex? He's I mean, old man. It's I'm, I'm about ready to just order one right now in my web browser. <laughs> you are <laughs> selling it. <laughs> you're paid. You're getting paid, aren't you? There's there Ray. you go. Hey. 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 I got off work early because. I got lucky in the really aggressive cutter management. Nice. My oh. character is done, except I don't have a bond for her yet. Okay. Sweet. And I think. I'm oh, and I didn't. Go. I didn't um, pick a spe very specific patron. Okay. But. I I was just assuming it was Thulu. I thought Works about it. <laughs> or like Hester, like the king in yellow. Like, uh, I thought about yeah, Cthulhu, but like Cthulhu is yellow. a little too... I thought about Cthulhu, but Cthulhu is a little too chaotic for what I intended. Although... It works, kind of. Anyway, you don't have to decide right now, do you? Oh yeah, I guess you do. It doesn't make a difference in what spell you get. If you're a warlock. Well, she knows it's a great no, old one. No, it's a great says, old oh, one. It's just okay. not more Which specific. One? It's, I have a general idea of my patron, not a specific idea of my patron. Mm, okay. Yeah, he won't show up tonight. Yeah, I, I have all my spells done, by the way, so, so I'm good to go now. Anyway, we got a tip from Mastig at the fucking pint to go um, to a tomb and raid it with Laura Croft. Oh, tomb Raiders! Yes. <laughs> Also, I put a picture on the bio and info. I don't know if you can use that picture as the token. Yeah, I think so. I think you can just drag it over, yeah. Or if I can't, if Lex but, can. you, but I think I, think I might, you might be able to. Too. That's how I, I did it on my. Lex, if you can't find it, just go ahead and slap on that uh, little anime boy <laughs> with the cat ears. Slap on that. Yeah. Whoa! Oh, you she got smushed. Oh. She went I... from a ten to a nine. Because of the smooth. Hello. <laughs> Hello, dear. <laughs> I wake you, pretty weighty. Okay, right. so we were, to start at... <laughs> we were supposed to start at level two, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm good. And they decided that whatever whatever you decided between the connection between your character and Yurik, which is my character, he doesn't know anything about it. So that's all. that's all up to you. Well, however, whenever you wish to reveal that, it's up to you. I was thinking he was, like, she was going to, well, <laughs> does Lex want to know? Yeah, I'm, if you want to private message him, maybe private message him or something. But I, I kind of don't want to know, really. I want it to be Okay. <laughs> Dwayne likes surprises. Yeah, why not? It's more fun that way. Well, do you guys want to uh, give her all the, like, the, the really quick... Uh, summary of your character. I'll go first. Excellent. Dude's name's Samson. He's a professional dancer, pretty boy, who <laughs> he kicks the shit out of shit. Sort of. I'm Not gonna... pole dancer though, right? More ballet yeah. dancer. More ballet. Although he could rock a pole if he wanted to, I'm sure. Yeah, man. So Talk, haven't fish. gotten that tough yet, but they could. <laughs> yeah, man. The fucking pole pint has a pole. Like, at the next <laughs> <laughs> Mastig uses it. Yeah. <laughs> Interpretive dance. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Steve? Interpretive dwarven sex dancing. Uh, I'm playing Wraith. He's a Eldrin. Uh, he's going to be a blade singer right now. He's got uh, a level of fighter, a level of wizard. Uh, he's in exile, and he's uh, come here, and he's going to try and you know become an adventurer. Oh, yeah. I'm also a psionic. I'm, I'm a playtest class thing. Um, yeah. I'm playing uh, VMAC. Vimax Sprout Slide Toad. I'm playing a orphan's uh, Goliath that was raised by a toad. I'm playing uh, Yorick, whose virtue name is Resonance. I'm a 10 year old tiefling boy who is a wild mage sorcerer and also kind of an urchin and a thief and a sweet talker and a vicious mockerer. And related to you, I guess, but we don't know that. Cousin. What's up, cousin? How do you? Oh, Not there we it. go. Never mind. I forgot how the chat commands did, work in this. <clears throat> Lex, did you get the whisper that I sent? Yeah, I, I've been trying to reply to it. I finally figured out how to do it. 
<laughs> uh-huh. Is, uh... Oh, okay. I got gotcha. you. Let me write that down. Uh, Chrissy, you want to tell us about your character? I'm Azrael um, Ethereum, the Ishmar warlock, who, uh... Yeah, she... She's very, um... Power hungry. <laughs> A power and hungry question- Asimar. <laughs> She's very power hungry and very questionable in her morals. Oh. Are you are you just oh. pulling off bits of a pancake? Or I thought it was pita bread, but mm. pa- pancake, you know, that works. I have pizza. Pizza's like a pancake. <laughs> What is psionic? I mean, what is your guy? Is he like a striker kind of character, like a damage got dealing guy, or like a skirmisher type guy, or a frontline fighter, wizard, or what? I guess I don't really get how psionics. He's an I, artist. I okay. Yeah. He's, he's like, trying to categorize him. He's a dancer. Him. He loves to <laughs> yeah. dance. So, as, as an yeah. order of the immortal one, he's frontline fight. Okay. okay. But he also has the opportunity to skirmish. So, it, it really depends on the situation. Cool. But he's oh. a. I'm. Yeah, I'm building him as kind of tanky, because I've never built someone who does like constitution stuff. So, because he's an endurance dancer. My background is that I was a bounty hunter, Outlander bounty. Cool. Okay. Awesome. 